Today I'd actually like to talk to you about grain hygiene in your storage facility. It's one of the foundations for successful outcomes in on-farm storage, along with aeration, fumigation, and also regular checking. So why would we want to make sure we're doing hygiene well? Very simply, when we're putting fresh grain off the paddock at harvest time into our storage, we don't want to be putting it into a silo that already has storage pests there. So what can we do to ensure that doesn't happen? Um, first step is design. You know, what is that silo that you're looking at, say, adding to your existing storage? Is it actually designed so that hygiene is simple, easy, and not a, a real painful job, if you like? Um, always advise before purchasing a cider. If you get the chance at a show or at your neighbour's place, stick your head, have a look inside the silo. Um, those design features to make it easy to clean are crucial. So that's our first step. There's two parts to hygiene. The actual physical uh, cleaning, and that's a really important part of it, and then the follow-up treatment. The physical clean, we're looking at brooming out the excess residues inside a silo or inside equipment, um, vacuuming, and then washing is another uh, popular but very effective method of uh, the physical clean. Once we've removed that excess residues, the follow-up treatment, we can look at diatomaceous earth, the application of diatomaceous earth for the final treatment, blowback gun hooked onto your compressor, forming a cloud of diatomaceous earth, small amount applied for the aerator that's running to coat that inside of that aeration duct, the remainder through the manhole at the base, you want to end up with a small layer of dust on the inside. You can also apply it as a slurry, so mix with water, maybe that's a good application method for larger flat bottom silos or inside a grain shed. So when is a good time? The old saying, clean as you go, it always still applies, so you've got an empty silo, clean it. However, if you wanted a full facility cleaned down, a good time is actually the cooler winter months. So before spring, the insects are not flying around in these cool months, so good to capture them before they make that spring flight. There's a number of products out there, dry side being one of them, but applying that either as a dust or, or as a slurry. Just one simple additional point, please don't leave a drum full of grain sitting around your storages which is holding your clean up grain. That just is another infestation point for those insects. 